as they head for the right-hander. Hold your breath as Siebel nods his head by a couple of boat lengths as Rinker's forced to go through his spray. Siebel with the advantage in Clearwater. He's number one. Boy, I'll tell you what, he really slammed the door on turn number five. Rinker had the back five for a minute. Long race to go to the Jose McDonough Jr. in third. Yeah, thank you. 
between first and second place. Jose Madonna Jr. drifting farther back in third. And he continues to feel the heat from behind from Chris Fairchild, who's in the fourth spot, the driver out of Papua, Illinois. And in fifth, Jeff Shepard out of Tennessee. And in now in sixth spot, Mark Major from uh, Ontario. Coming around turn number six right now, our race leader, NGK, 16 boat black and red, of Jimmy Siegel. Just doesn't have it to it. Ranker coming out of 
front port side of the water as she is digging hard right now to make up a little momentum. Had to back that boat down to bring those forks back down to the water line. All right, as they fly their boats across the water here, teetering on the edge of disaster, lap after lap. Our leader continues to find his way up, and now he's going to have a whole gaggle of back markers once again. There seems to be two groups of them, and he's coming up on the first group here as T-Boat now starts to close up. Yes, it looks like uh, boat number 18 has down the hook. The driver has had the right on it. But he's going to have to go to the number of the top six boats. Got five boats as he works his way around. And he returned number two. She won't do a nice job of staying on the inside. Rinker trying to go to the outside to take that wide angle. Getting around the back marker traffic may have lost just a little bit. But that lead looks like it's back down to about 12 boat lanes. And they work their way over in the far western side of Stone Lake. And Seawall now with Terry Rinker. Nothing's changed. Rinker's trying to reel them in. Hoping that Tim Seawall makes a mistake. And look at the traffic in front of them as they go into turn number six. Having a hard time seeing the driver. to the screen. The games and Rinker's closing on Seawall. Can they take advantage of this huge gamble of boats that are in front of them here? Rinker trying to make a move from the outside in.
with that eight-hand turn. Right hander, not a natural turn for the experience and the struggle their way around it. Breaker now. Lost the back there at the point length or two. Siebel continues to outshine the driver from Syracuse, Indiana. The man who lives in Florida now in the absolute power. Breaker now coming up on some more back markers. As is our leader, Tim Siebel. This could be maybe the last major challenge for slicing and dicing through the traffic that Tim Siebel will Timmy Siebel coming out of turn number four now continues to have about a 15 boat lead. As he comes through here, less than seven laps remaining. Here in this 30 lap final, we're glad you're with us this afternoon. As we have been fighting for the last day and a half, the weather and the conditions, but we're finally getting in this final race today here in LaPorte, Indiana, the first to stop on our 2015 tour. Just now crossing the start finish line. An open clean left on them. Coming in on the inside right now. Nice turn around back marker traffic for Timmy. Timmy Rinker continues on the inside right now. Green Timmy on the 15 boat lead. All right, 25 and a record rule. Just five laps left to go. Five tours, less than five miles to win. From first and second place in Rinker now. And he's got to throw him down on the table and give it his all. If he's going to make any move. It's one thing to catch the driver, it's another thing to get around him, and he's got to do it now in a hurry. And he's got a lot of boat right in clear water to make it happen right now. Timmy Siebel can continue to make his line, and he stays to the inside right now. Rector coming around the corner, he cuts it short again, lifts those front ports up just a little bit. Tim Siebel right now in cruise control, knowing that he's only got probably two more points he'll have to pass. With these four laps remaining in less than that, as they go on to the far west side of this lake, here's Siebel going to the inside, now sliding through turn number four, heads for the right hander, turn number five, Breaker trying to close, now he is chasing him down, trying to do desperate things, but he's running out of time, and Siebel looks like he's gaining a little bit more ground, and that battle for first place and the victory this afternoon. Siebel has gained more ground and is getting more and more aggressive with less than three laps remaining. Unbelievable race. Timmy Siebel has just done a masterful job going through back marker traffic. And with about two and a half laps remaining, looks like he's actually starting to lengthen his lead. Dana Tomes out of West Virginia pulling off the race course at a number 66. Sorry to see him go. As we again look out on the race course here. As our leaders now coming up. Turn number six. Siebel. Oh my! Somebody slip him out to
the coast-to-coast victory impressively done, especially the fact that there's over 20 boats on the water right now. Constant back marker traffic going through this course. He was masterful as we're going to see our third place boat coming across the start and finish line here. the checkered flag he'll take the victory lap and by all means fans give him a wave and let him know the appreciation for a driver well-deserved victory for this driver out of lake of the ozarks in missouri as he takes the checkered flag around this one mile circuit and uh, a fantastic day for tim siebel goes running off and here's Steve Song. Hey buddy, let me get you here a second, bud. Hey, I know you're a great driver, man. You came all the way from Australia to help out your uh, driver. How about that? It was a fantastic win for him today. But he drove better than anybody I've seen. Jim Zebo is number one. Yeah, it's good to have him back at number one, isn't it? Oh, it is. Last year was a bit sour for us. We were so close. Now the GK sponsor number 16, it's up front for it belongs. Yeah, Carmen, yeah. right there you go. Sog letting everybody know that he is one of the chief mechanics on this team. So much misery a year ago, but this year, nothing but smiles for that.